People on both sides of the border have given the thumbs up to the scrapping of PCR tests for travelers. However, a tourism official played down hopes of an influx of mainland tour groups. Janice Lowe has the story. The decision to scrap PCR tests for trips to the mainland was welcomed by many, including this woman who only crossed the border once since the pandemic. This is because she found the test too troublesome. Now I will go to the mainland more often as I no longer have to take PCR tests, she said. This man has already undergone a test, but he held the new arrangement, saying it allows people to travel freely between the two places. For mainlanders, Tokwa Wan used to be one of their favorite places. But COVID forced the closure of many shops because of the lack of customers. There are still signs reminding mainlanders not to block pavements. These local residents do not expect mainland visitors to gather in the area like they used to. It's even better if the travelers can bring prosperity to Hong Kong, this lady said. But this man, who lived in Tokwa Wan for seven years, isn't too enthusiastic. It's a nuisance. We probably have to share the road with cars, he added. Timothy Choi, director of the Travel Industry Council, expects only three mainland tours at most to head to Hong Kong each day. But he thinks the number will probably increase slightly by mid-year. Janice Lowe, HKIBC.